Hi, my friend. Let us talk today about what destroyed good relationship. In Genesis chapter 3, the first six verses describe how human beings destroyed friendship with God. There are many spiritual truths there. Let us focus on relational truths. Verse 1. Now the snake was the most cunning of all the wild animals that the Lord God had made. He asked the woman, Did God really say you shall not eat from any of the trees in the garden? So far, life in paradise was good, peaceful, joyful, without suffering, shame, or fear. A man and a woman lived with God the Creator, and they were happy because God the Father took care of all their needs for them. They trusted God completely. He covered them with His grace. The snake started planting a doubt in their mind. Did God really say? What the snake said was, God lies to you. Listen to me. I am about to tell you the truth. Today we have many problems because we do not trust God, but we trust thoughts which snakes suggest to us. Did God really say, forgive others? Did God really say, be kind to others? Love your enemy? Do not harm others? And we listen to snake and curse others, hate others, gossip, and so on. The woman answered the snake, We may eat of the fruit of the trees in the garden. It is only about the fruit of the tree in the middle of the garden that God said, You shall not eat it or even touch it or else you will die. Eve made a mistake. She did not call God the Father, but she started talking to the snake, who seduced her with the doubt and the love of God. Today, the snake seduces us in different ways, and we should call God right away and ask for help. It means a prayer should be the first choice. Trust in what God says in the Bible, His Word. But the snake said to the woman, You certainly will not die. God knows well that when you eat of it, your eyes will be open, and you will be like gods who know good and evil. Now, Eve listened to the snake and trusted him more than she trusted God who loves her. She was seduced with pride that she will be God. She will decide on her own what will make her happy. She started thinking with polluted thoughts of pride. Today, we are inclined to think with that polluted mind of pride. We became self-absorbed. The woman saw that the tree was good for food and pleasing to the eyes, and the tree was desirable for gaining wisdom. So she took some of its fruit and ate it, and she also gave some to her husband, who was with her, and he ate it. This verse describes fundamental temptations which destroyed friendship with God. And as a consequence, in the verses after that disobedience, we will discuss what happened to human beings and their children. Let us learn from Eve's mistakes. She started talking to the evil. Today, we hear evil, filthy, negative thoughts, opinions, teachings. It is our choice to listen to them or to listen what God says to us in the Bible. And there are three categories of temptation. First, she saw that it was good for food. It means she saw a pleasure in betraying God, in disobedience of Him who gave her life and everything else. Today, we go after pleasure without thinking much what eternal consequences an hour of pleasure may bring. Let us think before we do or say anything. Is it God's will? And check it out with His word. Second, it was pleasing to the eyes. It means that she liked the idea of doing what she wanted to do not what God wanted her to do. She coveted the forbidden fruit. She became selfish. Her ego, aging God out, was born. Today, we are tempted to think about ourselves, to have more goods, to look good, and to feel good, which destroys our relationship. The only antidote to this is to be selfless, to think more about others, to be self-given. Third, she saw that it is desirable for gaining wisdom. This desire describes the pride. It means that she loved the idea to become God to herself. She wanted to be a boss and to decide for herself what will make her happy without obeying God. She chose to betray God and Adam listened to her. After processing these three temptations, Adam and Eve acted on it. 
they ate the fruit of lies. And the consequences of betraying an excellent and beneficial friendship with God brought consequences of conflict, misunderstanding, shame, illness, lies, pain, death, and many others. The relationship with God was destroyed, and as a result of that, the relationship between people also was destroyed. Today we live dead consequences. That is why we have to learn how to repair, build and restore good, functional and beneficial relationship with one another. With our broken nature, we do not have to learn how to hurt others. It is in our nature. But the good news is that we can unlearn anything bad, negative, filthy that is in our nature. And we can learn what is good, beneficial, and bring us joy in everyday life. And that is what we are going to do with the help of grace of God. May God bless you on the way to eternal life. Thank you for listening. Bye.